Nigeria just opened the largest fertilizer factory in Africa. This is a total game changer. Let me first show you the news and then I will comment why this will revolutionize the Nigerian economy. A new $2.5 billion fertilizer plant was inaugurated Wednesday in Nigeria by both President Buhari and Africa's richest business mogul Ali Kodongote. The plant comes at a time when the world is feeling the impact of the Russian-Ukraine conflict that has hampered the prices of commodity, especially fertilizer, wheat and oil. The commissioning of this fertilizer plant is very historic. It marks the official opening of the largest granulated urea plant in Africa and also second largest in the world. The new plant will make Nigeria self-sufficient in fertilizer production with excess capacity to export to other African markets and the rest of the world. Our products have already reached African markets and some in, uh, to, to the United States, Brazil, India and Mexico. According to President Buhari, with a new fertilizer plant with a capacity of 3 million metric tons annually, Nigeria expects a boom as fertilizer is now readily available in greater quantities and better quality. We expect a boom as fertilizer is now readily available in greater quantities and better quality. We expect a rise of new breed of agro rules who will add value to farming and make the nation self-sufficient in food production. Agriculture is a lifeline for Nigeria's economy, contributing 25.8% of its $173 billion gross domestic product in 2021. Historically, this has been the biggest issue that African farmers face. Because Western corporations used to keep fertilizer prices artificially high. So a lot of African farmers basically just couldn't afford the fertilizer. And now, Nigeria is self-sufficient. They do not have to go abroad to buy fertilizers. They have their own market. And this will increase the amount of farming done exponentially. As the president said, he's expecting a boon. Me too. I'm expecting to see a rise in farming, but also the different types of farming that is done. Now, the second benefit, as they said in the beginning, is that one of the major producers of fertilizers, that's Russia, is now basically out of the picture. So the Nigerian exports are going to increase dramatically. Now, they've already, even though they just opened this place, they've already exported to India, to the United States of America, to Brazil. And that's just the beginning. And now imagine that they're now exporting to America, the same place we used to get our fertilizers from back in the days. And now Nigeria is selling it to them. That's a development. That's how you improve the lives of your citizens. This is an amazing thing. Now Dangote is the richest man in Africa. And after opening these fertilizers, he will be the richest man in Africa for a long time because he's going to make a lot of profit of this. But I'm not hating because this is also beneficial to everybody else. Now anyways, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.